Welcome. Here I'm tying a standard pheasant tail nymph just on a short chain hook. Uh, sometimes it's advantageous to use a wide gape hook on small flies, especially if you're you're fishing to larger fish. First thing I'm doing here is tying in a wire rib, just moving my thread to the back. And next I'm gonna clip off about a half dozen pheasant tail fibers. Now I'm gonna tie them in as the tail with just a single wrap and then move my thread to the front. Then I'll follow the thread up with the pheasant tail fibers, just wrapping them in connected wraps to form the body of the fly. I'll tie them off just ahead of the eye there. And now I'll rib the fly with the copper wire. I'm going the opposite direction that I wrapped the pheasant tail. It makes a sturdier fly. I'm going to go clip off another 10 or so pheasant tail fibers that will be tied in to form the wing case and the legs of this fly. I'm matching them up basically with the end of the tails there and then tying back to about the halfway point of the body. Now to form the thorax, I'm going to use some black bear dubbing. Um, it's just what I have on hand. You can use the traditional peacock curl, more pheasant tail, or thread, uh, whatever floats your boat really. You're just trying to, to, to promote the profile of the thorax. This is a nice buggy dubbing. I think it works well here. I'm going to fold the pheasant tail fibers forward to form the wing case and secure them. Now I'm going to fumble and trying to bend the tips back. I could have given myself just a little more to work with there. But they are folded back to represent the legs, then the thorax of the fly, and then secured with a few wraps up front and a quick whip finish and this fly is done. Quick fly, fill your boxes with, works well for non-picky trout. Enjoy.